Hey everybody, this is Dave Bensman with Bensman Home Computer Repair, and today's video is going to be all about security, namely creating secure passwords. Uh, they've done some research and they found that all of this type a capital letter, use a special character, put in a number as well as a letter, all that really is not as secure as using random words in random combinations. Uh, let's go over here. Now I did a Google search for dice password and if you do that you should end up at uh, www.diceware.com so we're gonna click on that and this is the uh, home page of the Diceware passphrase and what is that? Well that's a password that you can generate and all you need are five six-sided dice and a list of words. Uh, they explain exactly how it works right here under using Diceware. Basically what you do is you, um, if you click on this print it out right here, let's right click on it, we'll click on it with our right mouse button and left click on open a new tab. Uh, you'll see right here that this is, oh, page cannot be found, let's try that again. Alright. Uh, if you do that, you should be getting this right here. Uh, if you go to this URL right there, I'm going to leave it up there for a sec so everybody can see it. If you go to that URL, copy, and we're going to paste that in there. Yep, that should take you right where we want to go. So just go to that URL right there. Uh, and then you you down you you download it, or you know you could just you know leave it up there for consultation purposes. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take five six-sided dice, and you have to determine how long your password is going to be. So let's say you want a five-word password. You roll six-sided dice. I got I got five six-sided dice right here. And then I'm going to roll those, and I have a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, and a 2. And it doesn't matter what order you um, you select those in, just so long as you, you pick one. So let's go to 2. You just go down the list until you see 2. And let's see here. I'm using the arrow, the down arrow on my keyboard. So there's 2, and we go down to 2, 3, and there's... Two, three, four, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, two, three, four, five, two is drip. So the first word in my passphrase is going to be drip. So let's write that down here. We'll go to uh, Notepad. We'll open that up, and we'll just squeeze this over here okay so my passphrase is drip so they say in the directions here that the uh, minimum length for any kind of secure password is five words uh, that's they say that that's um, about that's better than what most people use for their simple passwords uh, they say also and I can't remember where it's listed here. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, six words uh, for like wireless security and file encryption programs and seven, eight or nine words for high value stuff like disk encryption and Bitcoin. So if you're if you have a bank, uh, if you're like you're, you're doing banking online, they recommend using if if they let you do it. Uh, eight or nine words. And the reason why this provides uh, more security than just choosing a password made out of random numbers is that the number of words, this is a 37 page long list, and the number of words here is so many that when you start to combine them, a computer is going to have a difficult time working out the combinations as those combinations get longer and longer. So now I'm going to hold the control key down on the lower left hand corner of my keyboard and and then I'm going to tap the letter F and that's going to give me a find. 
Now I just rolled the dice again, so now I'm going to type in 6, 4, 3, 5, 1. That was the next number combo. And you can see it just automatically finds it. So then my second word is going to be Wong. So then I just type that down there. And there you go. And you just keep doing this until you find the number of words that's, uh, let's see here, 54525. Five, and if you get, for somehow, if you get the same word twice in a row, that's fine. That doesn't matter. Uh, snatch is the next word. Um, and there you go. And then uh, roll them again. Again, and we got one four five three two one four five three two and that's bond and one six six three one so then we're gonna type that in one six six three one and that's claim C-L-A-I-M. Okay, great. So uh, basically, if I just have like a Facebook password or a, like a Gmail password, if they allow you to do this and don't force you to use like a minimum or a maximum or use special characters, you would be perfectly fine with having your passphrase, your password be drip wong snatch bond claim. A computer is going to have a very hard time brute forcing that password. And when we say brute force, we basically mean checking every single com possible combination of words in the English language. Uh, if it if it did that, it would be very difficult for the for any computer to uh, hit on the, those five words in that order. Uh, that I've chosen um, and so that's why it's a, it's a better password than having it just be you know the name of your cat with the first letter capitalized and the E changed into a three so once again go to um, diceware.com uh, I just typed in dice I didn't even type in diceware if you noticed I just type in, I missed keyed, and it's really the first thing that comes up, www.diceware.com. Click on that, and then if you want to find the list, just type in uh, Diceware Pass, Diceware List. Yeah, and type in Diceware List, and you'll see right here, world.std.com tilde reinhold slash diceware word list .pdf that's the list and you can just uh, search through that as you roll your dice uh, so you try to use those those are those that's a pretty easy way and you can make a mnemonic based on that you know uh, like you know uh, you could just make some sort of mnemonic or all you really have to do you could just memorize the first letters of each of them that'll help you remember it that type of thing uh, so uh, use that and if you have any need of any home computer repair and you're in the Memphis, Collierville, Cordova, Germantown uh, or Millington area, feel free to give me a ring, Dave Bensman at Bensman Home Computer Repair. Uh, there I am right there. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, please like and share them and subscribe to my channel. And as always, stay safe.